So how do you use math techniques? Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang. I've been teaching college mathematics for nine years, and there are a lot of different math techniques out there, but here are just a few just to kind of help you get started so that you can learn math a little bit easier for you. Now, first and foremost, always you start with real world terms. The more that you can connect to math on a real world level, the easier it is to learn the concept because you can make a connection to it. So always be sure before introducing a concept that you start off with a real world application of the concept itself before going into what, how to use it. The more visuals you can use, the better. Whether it be colored markers, slides, video clips, or even if you want to use um, movies and television, the more visual you can make the math, the more applicable that perhaps students can see that uh, the concepts can be used in. Manipulatives. Hands-on material. The more hands-on you can make the idea, the easier it is for the students to learn as well because the more that they're working with their hands with the mathematics, the easier they'll be able to see and the more they can relate to the ideas at hand. Practice, practice, practice. I can't stress that enough. The more you practice a concept, the easier it'll come into for future use of math ideas and the more you practice, the less likely you'll be able to lose the concept. Not just practice the current concept, but also practice the same concept when you study other things as well. It's always a good idea to self-check because the more you check yourselves, the more you'll be able to see if you've made any particular errors. And believe it or not, we all learn from our mistakes. So you learn by making mistakes and that's something that you don't hear every day. And lastly, review, review, review. Not just review what you're studying right now, but also review your past concepts along with the future concepts. A lot of textbooks will have cumulative reviews, which not only reviews the current chapter and its sections, but also reviews material from other chapters. The more you can review what you're learning now, along with learning with what you'll be going over in future sections, the more ingrained the concepts will be, and you'll be able to see math as a bigger overall picture. So I'm Jimmy Chang and there are some ideas on how to use the various math techniques.